extreme programming primary principles. So at a lower level, extreme programming describes a set of 14 principles as additional guidelines. So let us see what these 14 primary principles are. Now, the first primary principle um, is humanity. Second one is economics, mutual benefit, self-similarity, improvement, diversity, reflection, flow, opportunity, redundancy, failure, quality, baby steps, and accepted responsibility. So these are four, 14 uh, principles as an additional guidelines in extreme programming. Let us see uh, all of these one by one and understand what all of these um, mean in extreme programming. Now humanity. So provide supportive working environment to team and reward development team. Why humanity is important? Why this principle is important in extreme programming? Because people develop software and to gain their productivity or to gain productivity from people within team you have to provide them with the supporting working environment and also reward the development team so humanity is very important principle in extreme programming and that's uh, one of the 14 principle because people develop software you have to provide them with the supportive working environment and reward them the second principle is economics. The goal is to produce business value and not just the code or cutting edge technology, right? So if there is no business value of anything that the team is producing, that's of no value. So the main goal is to produce business value. That's the second principle of extreme programming. Third principle is mutual benefit now looking for the win-win solutions which satisfies all the parties within the development team so all in all when we say all the parties it means the customer end user uh, the development team and the business or the project sponsor so mutual benefit is very important and one of the principles so delivered software should satisfy all the parties and you should be looking at the win-win solutions for everyone in the team so that's the third principle of extreme programming now the fourth principle is self-familiarity which says that make effort to see and understand existing solutions um, patterns and apply them in new contexts. So understanding the existing solution or when the team actually starts working towards something then the, uh, the understanding of the existing solution is very important. So getting yourself uh, familiarized with what you have at this particular time before you actually start building the new solution so you understand what you have at this point of time existing solution and then you apply the same context um, same uh, knowledge in the new context that's the another principle of extreme programming so having self familiarity is also very important now improvement is another principle which says no design or process is perfect you have to make continuous effort to improve that so improvement is the key of the extreme programming and is one of the principle among the 14. Now there is nothing as perfect in this world so you have to um, you have to work towards you have to always try to um, try to make yourself or um, try to continuously improve um, to make things better right so it doesn't matter what design you have done as part of the solution or the process you have defined there is always a scope to make things better be it code be it process so continuous effort to improve the existing design or existing process is another principle you should be always looking um, to improve the process or design so improvement is another 
principle in extreme programming. Diversity. So team productivity increases through diversity. And you have to bring people with wide array of skills and perspectives to deal with problems. So diversity is another principle in extreme programming, which says that uh, there has to be diversity within team to uh, get the new perspective or skills. So there, there should be unlike you know, people within the team with different skill set, with different perspective, and that will give you an edge to look at the same problems in a different way to solve them to to get the better perspective or better ways to solve those same problems uh, the next principle is reflection now reflection is something um, saying that if you have done some some mistakes in the past be it you know like in the development cycle or in the release cycle so extreme programming says that you have to go back and look what you have done right and what you have done wrong and then learn the lessons from the mistakes that you have done in the past and that's very important principle in extreme programming looking back what didn't work very well or what what worked very well and then making sure that you implement um, uh, the you implement the right process or uh, approaches to address those uh, issues that happened in the past and implement the good things that happen in the past in the future so reflection is one of the another principle among the 14 um, the next principle is flow now flow is important because you have to break large tasks into small manageable tasks and then follow short iterations now you, why flow is important because having um, or uh, trying to deliver the big piece of software or big piece of work just at once is pretty difficult so having a flow uh, of you know like a small cycle or iterations is pretty important so that's one of the another principle so if you have a big, big piece of work try to break it down into small manageable tasks and then fit those small manageable tasks into small iterations to deliver that big piece of code or work now the next principle is opportunity you should learn from failures and obstacles and look for opportunities to learn from obstacles and failures so it doesn't matter I mean always you cannot win or succeed so there will be instances where the project will fail there will be uh, instances where the solution that you have implemented or uh, the approach that you have taken might not necessarily lead to the success so if you have failed in the past try to take that opportunity to learn from the failures and obstacles that happened in the past and uh, learn from the look for the opportunities and make sure that you learn from them and do not do same mistakes again in future so that's another principle of extreme programming now redundancy um, try to avoid repetitive task so in extreme programming if there is anything which is uh, repetitive try to automate it that's another principle of extreme programming you shouldn't be doing any uh, repetitive tasks in extreme programming for example if you are doing testing and there is um, there is data generation or, or test data generation activity for which you need uh, test data again and again try to automate those tasks because that's something which takes a lot of time and uh, it, it's it's a redundant activity it's a repetitive activity do not do that try to implement automation to avoid the repetitive task the next principle says accept failure you need to try things even if they don't work and consider failure as a chance to learn that's another positive aspect in extreme programming that you need to take uh, that you need to implement uh, you you should be ready to accept failure so you try something new if it fails even if it doesn't work that's fine you tried something new you tried a new approach and you you learn the lesson from it uh, make sure you 
you consider the failure as a chance to learn something new. The next principle is quality. You have to maintain high quality because it increases predictability and efficiency. And high quality uh, is also motivational. So if you have delivered something of high quality to the market, it gives you a lot of confidence and motivates you as a team because you get a lot of good feedback from customer, from stakeholder, which motivates the whole team that you have um, developed something or you have made something which is really high quality and has been appreciated by the users in the market. For example, in today's world, Google, um, anything, um, most of the product um, Google or Amazon uh, launch, they are of such a high and um, good quality that once you use them, you are a sort of a big fan of those products. The reason is because they put a lot of effort to ensure that the things that they are delivering in the market are of really high quality standards. So quality is another of the, uh, another principle among the 14 principles of extreme programming. The next principle is baby steps. So don't rush too much. So baby steps is talking about basically um, take lots of little steps uh, can be faster than few large bounds. So rather than taking uh, big uh, big steps or trying to finish majority of the chunk in small a small period of time you have to take baby steps try to do things one at a time or uh, smaller things uh, in a continuous uh, uh, iteration or short iterations on a regular basis right so take regular and prompt feedback and then improve in each iteration so taking baby steps is much more important as compared to taking fast and large um, fast steps and taking large chunk of work within the short period of um, cycle. Now that's another uh, baby steps in another, another principle among 14 principles. Uh, the next principle or uh, the last principle is the accepted responsibility. Now what this means is the team is taking the whole responsibility. The whole team is responsible for the development and the quality of the product or um, uh, quality of the software deliverable that's planned. And the whole team is responsible for completing the tasks um, within the team. So accepted responsibility is um, something some one of the principle of extreme programming wherein the team assumes responsibility there is no uh, regulation uh, or prescribed by the management or there is no one else who will guide the team for the responsibility so team is um, self-guiding or self-managing team in extreme programming and they should be accepting um, responsibility so that's the uh, last uh, principle among the set of 14 principles of extreme programming. So these principles are really, really important in terms of ISTQB Agile Tester Certification exam. So try to uh, get into, um, try to understand these principles thoroughly before you attempt your ISTQB uh, Agile Tester Certification exam. Thank you.